Hi friends, welcome to the channel of Learning by Doing. Today we are going to learn some more tags of HTML5 and today I'm going to tell you about the drop down list tag and here is my notepad and in the title I'm going to write as drop down list. Uh, okay, let me tell you about uh, drop down list. Uh, that is nothing but uh, if you uh, select an option in the button or anything that the drop down will appear. What you are going to select just uh, we'll see how it's going to look by just coding. We learn by doing something on our code. Um, so here we have uh, one option like uh, select uh, select tag. We are in the select tag. Uh, the select tag is going to be uh, end with slash select because in the drop down we need to select one option right so in that uh, uh, in that sense they have given one of the tag called the select tag and in that we are having the different kinds of options in the drop down tag to need to select so that's going to be display in the option tag that was very user friendly language which makes you to look wow because whatever we wanna we are going to talk that's going to be right in our pages right and that's called the code it is very easy to listen and it is very easy to learn too this is nothing but the op one of the option in my drop down tag uh, that is i'm going to be select and i'll just copy it no need of writing it again and again mm, i'm just copying it and uh, i'm just pasting it oh god okay i'm just pasting it okay um and here you are going to see uh, the five options for your selection i mean like two three four and if you and here we have only one thing that we can select to i mean right um, in the drop down uh, if we we are given only select option for the drop down we can select only one option in it i mean like i have uh, five uh, five different kinds of foods and i can eat only one in that we can't eat uh, two to three foods at a time because that is nothing but uh, the drop down uh, a box uh, but using this select option and in this select option we are having uh, the another uh, uh, attribute within it is called the multiple attribute in that we can uh, select one or two or three four how many you want you can select in that and we're gonna see that multiple select option here itself um, I hope uh, you are going to be see that multiple drop down list item here itself. Uh, just copy it. Um, control C and I am going to paste this code again here. And in the select option I am going to put only one thing. Uh, select tag I am going to put only one thing that I want my selection to be as multiple. Then I am going to save this and how it is going to look. We will see in our web browser. In the web browser I am going to refresh it. See guys uh we are having uh, for it's for the first uh, we will use some break here uh then it may look some little bit better for you i'm going to save it uh see guys here i can select only one two three four five i'm, I'm selecting four and here we can select how many we want one two three i mean like it, it was uh, it was the drop down we can select how much you want you can select in this this is nothing but the selection options here we can select only one and here we can select one two three how many we want we can select in this this is nothing but the selection uh, option and the drop down list in it and uh, we are going to talk about one more tag it is called an optional group tag i mean like uh, if uh, we are have we are well known that in the colleges or in the political parties or anything we are going to see that uh, groups right hey this is my group this is my group see or see see like that uh, i'm just talking about the group like uh, we can have any option to select our group in that manner in this uh, this is one of the uh, one of the option with uh, they are in um, uh, in the html5 language called the optional group uh, selecting my option in the group uh, in in a group we can so we can put some of the options in a group uh, like we are having one group and we can uh, in that group we are putting some more options in it this is nothing but uh, the opt group 
the tag was nothing but an opt group. Uh, this has to be in the selection of select tag itself because we are going to be select from that right so whatever we are going to be select uh, seeing something we are going to put that in the select uh, tag itself in that opt group i'm going to give uh, in opt group is having one of the attribute called the label in that label uh, i'm going to put as the group one this is my group one we are having one, two, three, four, five groups in my college. So it's my first group. Um, in that first group, I'm giving the option as um, first group is going to study mathematics. Okay, guys. First group is going to study the mathematics. This was my option for them. Uh, and um, this uh, group was going to be end uh, this opt group is going to be end as slash opt group as usual uh, if uh, i want to represent uh, the another group right if i want to represent uh, group two like uh, one of the group uh, another group if we can write within the selection option itself this is group two i'm gonna make them to study uh, what we're gonna make them to study okay I'm asking you, I'm going to make them to study HTML and then uh, we are giving another option for them also as um, what we'll give for them another option. We are going to study the CSS also. I'm giving two options to them. We, this group has to study two that is the HTML and CSS and I'm going to give another group also like that you can give what, uh, how many number of groups you want uh, you can give to that. Uh, I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to put it as a label 3. This is my third group. The my third group is also going to be study this. Whatever the option you want. I'm just giving the uh, uh, languages that uh, they need to study. But uh, this is nothing, ab uh, nothing about the optional group which was uh, one of the tag that was introduced in the HTML file. I'm going to save it and um, uh, I'm going to see this in our web page see guys in my in my um see let's go to our um, this is was the selection uh, select group and that we are having the options as one two three four five this is not a multiple select this is only a single option select so we are having the options like one two three four five in that the select group uh, we are having the another uh, opt group uh, opt group as one of the tag within this this going to be group some of the elements i mean like some of some kinds of elements to be in one group and another kind of elements to be in another group like that we are having the option this is nothing but the opt group one means we are having all these selections and see in the group one you can select the mathematics and we can select html this will be uh, selected in the form of uh, the groups i mean opt uh, this group this group and all this okay guys got it uh, and I'm going to tell you another kind of um, tag uh, that is nothing but the data list tag. Uh, in the data list tag, um, it is similar to the uh, to um, just like the select option and all this. But we are having uh, uh, a different kind. Like in the text box, if we click on the text box, we are going to see the uh, some of the uh, number of names that is coming down of it. I mean like whenever you select on the text box, they are going to uh, put in some of the web pages like aerospace or engineering or anything. All, you, all you are studying details and all this. It will come like drop down. This is this will be displayed uh, uh, in the tag called the data list tag. The data list tag is going to be displayed in that manner, and I'm going to tell you about that. I'll give the label. I mean, like just the heading for that uh, data list as uh, choose the name or anything, whatever you like. Choose the name, and in that uh, I'm going to give the uh one of the uh, name list uh name list is going to be happen in it i'm go so in the input uh, button i'm going to give the list 
as one of the attribute which is in that we have many attributes in the input so i'm going to introduce one on one uh, when i got the chance to tell you guys not all the attributes at a time because you'll get confused of it if i tell you all the attributes at a time so i'm give, i'm introducing if possible uh, uh, we'll talk about all the attributes one day but i'm introducing new and new so you can check it out whenever you are seeing this videos mm, and now i'm going to tell you about the data list that was the new tag that we're going to be introduced id as a name list uh, so in the name list has to be in between the characters uh, and then quotation marks um so uh uh in this i'm having the options right option was uh, as usual for everything so it is very good to me if i copy this because i i didn't have uh, that much uh, strength to write the code again and again so i'm going to select the this one this code uh, because i have the option tag in this so control c uh here i'm going to paste the tag uh i mean i'm going to paste the code of it uh that is option option and uh, there is no need of an option uh closing and all this even if it doesn't uh, give in the close and all this also it will display guys even if we given something in the value also it will display there is no issue i didn't i forget to say to you about that there is no issue i'm see see i'm uh, deleting all this here i'm deleting all these options of uh, closing even if it doesn't close the option tag also there is no problem uh, i'm giving the value i put the name list right so i'm giving it as man with mm, uh, so as the first name and the second name as uh, kirti and the third name as uh, uh, tej and the fourth name as ram uh, and the first name as saru whatever and i'm going to give one more option here because uh, some may feel because i have given all the names which i want to be like so i'm giving one more name as chaitu so these are all my the name list which i want to display when i click on the text area okay guys the uh, the data list was started and the data list was to be gets in by using slash data list as usual um so i'm giving the slash data list as uh, another uh, um, closed uh, uh, closed tag of the data list as usual so end of this do you have anything okay nothing um see how it's going to be look now uh, i'm going to save it and we'll put some break here because it may look Uh, different uh, and i'm going to save it again and i'm going to see how it's going to look hope my code will work out i mean like my code will get a chance okay see guys choose the name i have i put this in the label tag because i want to see this on on the this on the web page so i put it in the label tag and a uh, in uh, that uh, i have written the data list um data list tag we have written the options like all the name lists so i'm going to be click here uh, there is nothing uh, if i put k see kirti is coming if i put uh, m manvit and ram is coming the, it, it it's going to be check the uh, the similarities i mean the similar items mm mm it's going to be sorting just like it's going to be sorted and if you click the drop down button here this is nothing but the data list tag that's going to be look for you uh, guys uh, this is all nothing but the data list tag and also the all other tags that are going to be discussed today thanks for watching this video if you like my video subscribe to my channel thank you